Okay, I'm gonna try and do this quick before my phone dies so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. But this is how I pack a bearing. I'm getting my gloves back on. I'm gonna squeeze some grease into my hands and show you on the little bearing. It's really pretty simple and if I can do it, virtually anybody can. So I've got the grease in my hand, in my left hand, because I'm right-handed. I got the bearing in my right hand. I take the big side of it, which is the big opening, and I force it into the grease. And I just keep doing it and doing it until I see the grease come out the little top side, which you're gonna see, it creates like a ribbed effect at the top. And you're not looking for grease to come out the center. You're looking for it to come out in between the two halves of the bearing. See that little rib right there? And it's kind of hard to see because the lighting is going to hell here. But you want, want it to come out like that all the way around. So you do an area and you just flip. You keep rotating. You do an area and you flip and you rotate it. And you'll see it come out and it'll look ribbed because it forces its way in between the rollers. And you're gonna have some come out the top. And if it does, you just scrape it off. And you force it in a different area. But you wanna make sure that it comes out around the whole bearing. Because otherwise, your bearing won't have enough grease in it. And you're gonna use about one tube per brake drum on these 7,000 pounds if you use a tube style like I'm using today. Okay, so you've got the little bearing packed. Now, this clean grease, scrape it all off your right hand, scoop it back up off your left hand with your right hand, put it inside the drum and smear it around. Now, that little bit was only enough to get partially around it. You wanna load up that inside of the center of the drum with just as much grease as you can. So I'm squeezing out more grease. I'm probably gonna finish off the rest of the tube here. You know, that's a pretty good gob of grease, but you want it in there. Grease is what keeps your bearings cool and keeps them from failing. Once you get so far, you're, you won't be able to collapse the very bottom of the tube. So you gotta open up the other end. And it's just due to the way they're designed and fold it differently. So you can squeeze that into the tube with the hard, with the hard uh, aluminum on it. So you can squeeze the rest of the grease into your hand. I've got all the grease out of that tube. For the time being, I took that bearing and I set it inside that top there. Now I'm gonna take my gloves and ball them up like I showed you before. Take one off, put it in the center of the other one, and take it and do that. Now, since I'm gonna be here a while, I'm gonna take the opening of my glove and shove it over top of the axle. hole because that prevents any dirt from getting down inside there. And I've got a little trash bag here tied to the side of my trailer that I'm working on and as I make a mess I'm just throwing it away right away as much as I can. If I miss a piece I'm going and I'm picking it up that way they don't get bitchy with me that I'm doing it here.